Hey guys, today we're playing some Oxygen Not Included. I'm going to go over uh, an electrolyzer setup I've seen on YouTube. I believe it was Cryptic Fox that did it. Um, I'm going to go over the setup and then I'm going to show how the slight changes I've made to it and uh, some of the other benefits that come from this other than just making oxygen. So uh, normally I'd build this with doors and that so the duplicates can get in and build it and that, but uh, I'm not going to bother with that today. It's uh, not very not a very complicated setup, but uh, works very well. So we'll put our electrolyzer here, and the idea is the uh, pressure in this area will be enough to separate your hydrogen. It's going to go up here to this pump. That'll feed. Um, a hydrogen generator which will actually power this whole system on its own yeah it can pump its own water to itself it's a completely self-sustaining system build a hydrogen generator in the original uh, setup he was using uh, it was probably before they came out with smart batteries he's just using a jumbo battery so there's less uh, electricity loss on the smart batteries and you can set it up so the generator doesn't run all the time when it doesn't have to. Let's hook all, all the power here. Okay, I'll have to make some water, a source of water over here too. Set up a pump. That'll feed that. Now, uh, some duct work. So, this top pump is going to be pumping the hydrogen to our hydrogen generator. And then this one will just, we can send when I'm putting in my base, I'd send it anywhere in my base. I use the uh, regular gas vents rather than the high pressure ones it limits uh, how much you're going to be sending to each room kind of if you use the high pressure you just overload a room with uh, oxygen instead of spreading it through your base so i can pipe this to a bunch of different areas and it kind of equalizes the pressure throughout the base one thing this needs is uh, some initial power just to get fired up forgot to uh, set an Atmo sensor. Atmo sensor here. Nope. Just beside there. Right there. And we tie it into this pump so that we're not pumping oxygen. We want to make sure we have a enough pressure so that we're getting the separation so we're not pumping oxygen and damaging our hydrogen generator so we'll set this to be above when it kick on when it's above 750 grams and I believe that's it okay I'll just snag a duplicate set this to 50 or so so that this doesn't run all the time you will get uh, oh we didn't power our pump so right now we're just pumping one way you can do this is vent this outside for a bit till you get 
a good buildup of uh, hydrogen, but uh, in the end, you're only going to waste a little bit of resources. Depends how tight you are for resources. But uh, we'll get some power over to our pump. See, right now we're just pumping oxygen, which is damaging this, but I'm not too worried about that right now. <coughs> so once this gets rolling, it's completely self-sufficient. The only thing you need to put in is water. It generates uh, a little bit more electricity than it actually needs. Oh, I forgot to... Uh, not a major, but usually I tie this into here. Like I said, that way the pump doesn't run uh, when the battery's full. So I'm going to disable this, since it seems to be good to go now. Get rid of Buddy. So the only uh, time I find it a bit of an issue is if you're not using enough oxygen, this will go over pressure. But uh, generally it's self-regulating for the most part and actually you will generate more hydrogen than is needed to run this system. I'm not sure if we're at that stage yet, but uh, eventually this will back up and this this will be tripped all the time so that the, this is telling it to pump all the time but the line's full. So what I do, I you can either pipe this into a, a reservoir, a gas tank, what are they called? gas reservoir to use for whatever else, uh, maybe power generation elsewhere during uh, times where you don't have enough electricity. Or uh, I'll show you a setup I have for actually cooling your base. Uh, I use it on one of my games, but uh, I just want to let this run for a bit, show that it actually does, It's it'll maintain itself forever. Our battery's full, this is full. Yeah, see, and we're backing up here. Give it a, a day, and that would be full, and it would be backing up in here. So I find uh, it's actually, it doesn't take up much space. It's one of the, I build this almost every time, as soon as I can. It's uh, an easy uh, way to make oxygen. Uh, it costs you a little bit of water, but uh, if you have a water geyser or whatever, you're good to go, steam geyser. So I'll show you. This is my quick little setup kind of demonstrating a couple different things. So this is how I'd use it for cooling. If you find your uh, anti-entropy thermal nullifier, you can rob about 17 grams per second off this system. Any more than that, and you might not be generating enough electricity to keep the thing going, and then you'd have to put in your manual generator again, get her rolling again. But uh, basically, you put some water, you can use any liquid oil, whatever, polluted water, doesn't matter. <clears throat> and uh, I cool this area, I have some temp, plate, temp shift plates here, uh, just to help cool the water. And all I'm doing is recirking. So I'm using this pump here to pump water up through here. It's a uh, use, it, use insulated pipe where, you're, where you don't want to cool. And say I wanted to cool this room. Yeah, I would put in a uh, radiant liquid pipe like I have here. So just, uh, we'll check out the temperature there. See, it's cold in here. I'm going to fill it up with some higher temperature uh, oxygen. Oxygen gas. We'll go with 330. So that's uh, 44 Celsius. Look how quickly that cools. I realize it's just oxygen and we're not really creating much heat, but that cools the area down pretty quick. Um, so basically, th you can run this all throughout your base and just have maybe two to three sections of uh, radiant pipe here and there to cool off different areas and then just make sure where you don't want to cool it off. It's insulated pipe and this just research so you're never actually using up whatever water or whatever. It just keep, maintains the same level. Um, and then another scenario that I've got pretty much set up here. We'll uh, just shut down this system here.
is using it as a backup power. So say, uh, I don't have it set up properly here, but say you had a natural gas geyser that was feeding your natural gas generators for your to power your, your base. Eventually, you're going to run out. Like, during the times where it's not uh, emitting, emitting gas, you'll run out. So I've got this set up, it's all automated, where while this side's running, we're just building up gas in this reservoir, uh, hydrogen rather. So we'll just take a peek at this. So we're again, we're just stealing that uh, 17 grams per second, and it's building up in this reservoir. So while this is, <clears throat> this side's working, um, I'll set something else up here to use more power. I'll set a couple more uh, heaters up. Hopefully that doesn't cook the battery that's there. We go like that. This eventually will drain. These two batteries are connected. This switch is open right now, so uh, this is not connected to the circuit. I have this set up to kick on at 50, which tells the generator to run. And this is set lower. If it goes below 50, well, if it goes below 10, it'll activate this switch, which will start drawing from here. Once this battery gets low enough, it'll tell this to kick on. So if this battery gets below 50, this one will kick on. We'll start using this up to power the system. So we'll just, uh, I'll disable this. Actually, I'll just disable it. We'll do a mock uh, trial here as if we ran out of gas. So I'll stop this here. That's not what I want to do. I can't disable that building. There it is. Okay, so now we're not getting any power from here. We're, say we ran out of natural gas. So it's draining this battery here. See, this is supposed to kick on, but we got no gas. Now once this gets down to 10, this switch will close, we'll start drawing from here. There we go. So now once this battery gets down to 50%, this generator will kick in. Now generally, you may not, for your downtime on your geysers supplying the gas, this may not have built up enough to make it all the way through, but it's better than burning coal. You're not using up a finite resource. If you happen to have two geysers, maybe you can make it all the way through and not even need this system, but it's a good backup to have. And you could be storing this for whatever other use you may have for hydrogen. Um, hydrogen's also one of the best conductors for gas. Like, uh, I filled this room with hydrogen here just to help the uh, template shifts transfer the coldness into the water. Um, I think I explained it fairly well. Uh, if you like this video, like, subscribe. Uh, thanks, guys. Have a good day.